guys, welcome back to All About Fire Protection Channel. Our topic for today is placement of smoke detector for door release. some areas where we can apply the placement of smoke detector for door release. Examples are some hotels, schools, universities, and some hospitals where we have fire compartmentation. If we have a fire compartmentation, if there is a door or opening in that uh, particular wall, then that door shall be uh, rated for fire or it's fire rated. So if it's fire rated in some areas, uh, due to the activity inside the building, it is um, required to uh, maintain this this door to be open, like in hospital. Because if it's closed, then it will be um, not easy for an employee or uh, patients to move around the hospital so even if it's required to um, maintain this door as close because it's fire rated there are some exemption like in hospital like what you will see in this illustration this door is held open and if you will check at the back this is where our magnet magnetic uh, mag magnetic door release is installed this is how we um, maintain this door to be open during normal um, activity in the building so if we have this um, type of installation or fire door then it is required to have a smoke detector which is required to activate this door to close in in case of fire so now we will discuss uh, we will discuss it more on the next on the next slide. So the only requirement is if that if we're going to provide a smoke detector which is um, designed to release a fire door is you need to we need to know the depth of the wall or the wall above the door this this part this is the part of the wall where we need to measure from the underside of the ceiling going to the bottom of this wall or above the door so we will now proceed on the main argument so once we already determine the depth of our wall or the wall above the door which is here we can now proceed with the first argument. Is the depth of the wall above the door equals to 610 mm or less? If that is the case, then we need to provide one number of smoke detector only at either side. So it's either here on this side or either here on the other side. But we need to maintain a distance of 1.5 maximum. And there's another option. We, we can also provide one detector from the other side, wall mounted. This time it's wall mounted. So it's like it's here, just above the door. But you need to provide another one from the other side. So two. So for me, I will go for option A. Because um, it's only one. At least uh, there's... Um, deduction in the cost another argument is if now now if your 
the depth of the wall above the door is more than 610 mm at one side. This time, because sometimes there are areas where there is a different level of ceiling in the door. The other side is 3 meters. Let's say the three, uh, ceiling height is 3 meters. And then the other side of the door is only 2 meters. Something like that. So what will happen? There will be a, a variation in the, wall, uh, the depth of the wall above the door. Let's say in this example, you will see uh, from the other side of this door, it's only 610, the wall. But in the other side of the door, it's more than 610. If we have a situation like this in the ceiling, um, then the requirement is either to provide one number smoke of the de smoke detector, which shall be provided in the higher side of the ceiling, where we have higher ceiling. So either we provide one smoke detector, again, we will just maintain 1.5 from the wall above the door, 1.5 meters distance. Or option two, we will provide another, uh, we will provide detector at both sides of the wall. And we need to maintain this um, uh, detector, distance of the detector from the ceiling. I forgot to mention in earlier in the first slide, but it's the same. We need to maintain less than or equal to 300. No? So we, this detector, which is wall mounted at uh, either side, there's a requirement of less than or equal to 300 mm mounting height from the ceiling. So we have to maintain this. And now in the third argument, um, is the depth of the wall above the door more than 610 mm at both sides? This time, at both sides of the door, the depth of the wall is more than 610 mm, like you will see in this illustration. Both sides is more than 610 so if we have a situation like this, then there's no option of providing only one detector. Mandatory, now the number of detector that we're going to provide is two. So one number, uh, one number at other side and one number at the other side, so two. So either it's ceiling or wall mounted. For ceiling mounted, we need to maintain still 1.5 meters from the wall above the door and for wall mounted again we will maintain this uh, maximum distance from the ceiling which is 300 or less now now that we already um, know the requirements for uh, installing a smoke detector for door release, I mean the quantity, then now we will proceed uh, proceed with the topic where we can identify the exact location where we're going to um, locate our smoke detector. If we have a single door, you just need to locate your detector in the center line. And if you are, let's say, if you have a door offset from center line of the hall, if this is your corridor, and your door is not installed in center or it's offset somewhere here on the other side. Still, the rule is to locate detector at the center line of your doorway, not in the corridor. If you have a double door installed in the corridor, then your reference will be at the center line of the door opening. So you will see here, if, let's say in this example, we have two doors, then our detector will be placed somewhere here in the middle, middle of this opening, if it's wall mounted here, or if it's ceiling mounted somewhere here within 1.5 from this wall. Now, if we have a situation where we have a two numbers of double door, then the requirement now is different. We have to me uh, measure the separation between these two double doors. This A, 
this is the separation between two doors. If this separation is less than 610 mm, mm then uh, we can just locate the smoke detector from the center line of the separation. But if your separation between two doors are more than 610, then we have to consider detector at each doorway and located at the center line of the doorway each. That's why in this example where we have more than 610 mm separation between two doorway, then we have to provide two numbers of detector each to each doorway. So I mean one number of detector to each doorway which is located at the center line here. Now if we have a multiple doorway like you will see in this illustration or uh, image. Let's say if we have three numbers of double door, like this one, one, two, three. If we have three numbers of doorway and the separation between them are less than 610 and the opening, total opening of the door is um, 6.1 meters or less, then our requirement only is to locate the smoke detector at the center line of the opening. So if this is your three numbers of doorway, then we just need to place the smoke detector at the center line of the opening. So this is your opening, total opening. So it will be here. But if you have three, uh, if you have four numbers, more than three numbers of doorway, like this, in this uh, illustration, you have one, two, three, four. Then we have to treat this um, door openings minimum as two or more. Like in this example, we divided this um, four numbers of door opening or doorway in to three groups where we locate our smoke detector in one of the uh, separation in the center line and the other one is in the other separation of the doorway dividing this total number uh, four numbers of doorway into three groups that sum up our topic for today guys hope that you learn again from our discussion just uh, if you have uh, any comments just leave your comments here below and don't forget to like and subscribe